everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. I have another fun attention shoppers project for you. This is a case from a project done at on stage. I've changed it up a little bit. Um, this is a slider um, and we're gonna use magnets to keep that attached to the card on the inside. Um, we are using the Attention Shoppers Bundle, which is brand new in our new 2024-2025 uh, Stampin' Up! Annual Catalog, and it might just be my very favorite bundle in the whole catalog. It's just the cutest. All right, we're going to start with the holder. Now, the measurements for all of these pieces are over on my blog. Um, there's a free PDF there, so make sure you click the link and go snag it. This is eight by eight and a half, and on the long side, I scored it at four and at eight, okay? Now on this um, long edge here, if you will, we're gonna put a piece of tear and tape. And then over here, we're gonna put one across the bottom as well, okay? And we are going to peel that off it is very, very sticky and muggy here. I'm hoping my adhesive will do what it's supposed to do today. Let's see. All right, I'm gonna fold over and push in that adhesive in both places. So now we've created this, this uh, kind of an envelope, if you will. I'm gonna take my circle punch. You can use any circle punch. This is the one and three fourths inch. And I'm gonna center it and just do kind of a almost half half circle there crescent there um on the open end all right now let's decorate it a little bit we're gonna need some grid paper here i'm gonna use blackberry bliss ink and blackberry bliss ink is very strong let's run it off on our grid paper a little bit and then i'm just gonna kind of Add a dark cloud of Blackberry Bliss right there in the middle, like that. And then I'm gonna take my Wink of Stella and let's see if I can get this to squeeze down. And then, ooh, we got a big blob. All right, all right, all right. I've got a paper towel right here. I think that'll be kind of cool looking big blob of Wink of Stella. <laughs> That's kind of cool, big, like a disco ball. I'm not sure. I'd probably start over if I was making the video, but because you guys are here, we'll just leave it. You just never know what's going to happen. Now, um, you know, what we could do is we could turn it and have it slide this way. Maybe we'll do that and cover it up with our designer series paper. Let's do our coloring, okay? You're going to need basic white, and we're gonna stamp the um, gift bag in memento black on basic white. And we're gonna stamp the wine bottle also in memento black. The reason I am using memento black is because I'm using Stampin' Blends and that's the color or that's the ink you wanna use with your alcohol markers. All right, now Blackberry Bliss Stampin' Blends. And I'm going to color first with the light Blackberry Bliss. And then we're going to come in and add some shadowing. Blackberry Bliss is a very rich and beautiful color. And I thought that it goes really well with Pretty Peacock here. Pretty Peacock isn't necessarily a color that I use all that much. Um, but boy, I need to use it more often because together these two colors are gorgeous. All right, now I'm gonna start over here like this and just kind of create a shadow, kind of curving over. And we'll bring that shadow kind of like that and then we'll make it go that way too. And then I'm gonna switch over to my brush end and just kind of flick that color over, blend it out. Actually, yep, this is my light. And then I'm gonna take my dark color in those handles. Be real careful because the next color we put down is yellow, Deftil Delight. And it will, it's unforgiving with a darker color. We don't wanna get any Blackberry Bliss there. All right, so now I'm gonna take my light Daffodil Delight, 
light, that build the light, and color these. Okay. And then I'm going to take the dark and I'm going to put a shadow here on the back layer where the front layer would create a shadow. And then where those lines are and kind of under there like that. All right. Now for the wine, I'm going to start with light, um, pretty and peacock. Pretty peacock, not pretty in peacock. And then I'm going to add some shadow like this, kind of around, like that. Maybe just a little bit like that. Let's do a little bit here too. All right. Um, let's use light blackberry bliss for the label. And then I've got copper clay for that cork or lid. And last we'll take dark. And color that in. All right, so we're gonna cut those out with our matching dies. We've got that one and that one. And then we're gonna cut out our shopping cart. Now I'm gonna create kind of a three dimensional shopping cart. Can you guys see how I did that? I've, I'm gonna cut two different layers. And the first one, I'm gonna cut this piece in half. And the first one we're gonna put on a foam adhesive sheet. And this is not the adhesive sheets that are like stickers. These are like big dimensional sheets. All right, so I'm gonna Take this and lay it down on here like that and then we'll cut the rest of it off so now we're, we've created this big foamy piece and it creates great dimension okay now let's run this over here so you guys can see it and we're gonna do, we'll do the foamy piece last, the thick foam piece, because I don't want these to slide off. We're also, we're gonna use that other piece, the piece that we did not put the foam on. We're gonna cut out a set of these. And actually, I'm thinking, no, I think we'll just do it this way. Um, no, yeah, it's fine. You could put adhesive sheets, regular adhesive sheets, on the back of those, but I don't think that we necessarily need to do that for this project. All right, here we go. Okay, there's our wine and our gift. And let's put our dies back on the cards. So we don't lose them. Now this piece comes with a lot of little pieces. Let's see if I can catch them all in my hand. Put them over there in the trash. Whoops, I didn't get them all. And then I've got my other take your pick tool here somewhere hiding. I have two so that I don't have to switch out my ends. <laughs> all right, there's that and that piece. Now here's the foam piece. And I'm gonna lay this on here like let's see can i get it across like that and maybe save that other side for another piece all right now it's very thick so we're going to run it through a couple of times to make sure it goes all the way through well we've got a little bit stuck to our our um plate. All right, let's see. There we go. Comes out really well. Now these may need a little extra attention. Let's get all of these out. And then we've got kind of this three-dimensional with the adhesive. Well, now I've gone and done it. <laughs> these are all going to stick. Let's see. Do we have a piece of um, grid paper that we could stick this to? I do not. Let's see if we can get them in here. They want to stick to my fingers, that's for sure. 
So try to get these off before you take off the backing. You've got a big sticky mess. It's all right, we want it to be sticky. Not these little guys, but all right, we'll put this one in here. <laughs> Ooh, I'm having a mess today. And there we go. Okay, so now I'm gonna take this, let's get it straightened out a little bit. And we're gonna take these guys and kind of set them like that. And I'm gonna pick them up like that, okay? And then we're gonna lay it down on the other piece. And that has created kind of a 3D layered grocery cart. How fun. You see that? Just gives it a little oomph, if you will. All right, now we're gonna put this on with dimensionals that we can hide behind our gift bag. And our wine bottle. And we'll put that right there. And this was where I said you probably could use some an adhesive sheet, but I didn't do that, so we'll just use a little bit of glue. And we're gonna tuck that right there. Now for the sentiment, let's see, I have already cut out my little banner. And let's see if I can get it on here straight. Typically, I would recommend that you stamp first and then cut. It makes it so much easier. But for, oh, for the sake of the video, I did not do that. I'm using my embossing buddy to remove any static that may be on there. And I'm gonna stamp this in Versamark. And then we're gonna take it. Actually, I have my little brand new white here. Perfect. All right, I like when that works out. Let's move all of this out of the way and we'll get our heat tool. I need my reversible tweezers, but they are not here. Hmm, I wonder where they went. Reversible tweezers would be great to hold this so that I don't burn my fingers. So let's see if I can do it without burning my fingers. I wonder where they went. All right, here we go. We're going to heat emboss this so that it's nice and bright. And then I'm going to take a foam adhesive strip. We need it to be a little bit, little bit shorter. Put that on there. And that can go right across there like that. All right. Now, bring back our, I think I'm gonna leave the disco ball there. I'm just gonna leave it. Um, we're gonna take our DSP. This is a strip of DSP from the um, To Market DSP pack. I believe that's the name. If I'm wrong, it will be on the supply list. And I'm gonna put that right there. Let's get our circle punch and make that DSP match the circle. Okay, now we're gonna put, I have the, the secret to the sliding mechanism are these button magnets. And I am gonna put them on with glue dots. So we're gonna need four. And if I can not drop them 100 times, it would be great. All right, I'm gonna get the, these two. Let's see, we're gonna put one on the bottom. And one thing I do like to do is put two glue dots on each of the magnets, it makes them stick better. I didn't do that on that first one, but that's okay. All right, so now magnet onto a glue dot. And we're gonna put this one up here at the top and then get two more glue dots. Stick those right there. Ah, like that. Okay, now here is the card that's gonna slide in and out, let's make sure it fits perfect. And I'm gonna stick these magnets, I'm gonna stick this like that. Push down, set them. And then when I take this out, 
and I put this in and I set it on here, it will find the magnets and then it will pull it. Isn't that neat? So fun. Okay, now let's add our half, I've punched out a um, one and three fourths inch smoky slate circle and we want it to be right in the middle where that circle is. So let's line that up. Then I'm gonna take my hole punch, I'm gonna punch a hole right there. Take your pretty peacock ribbon, slide that through. And now we're gonna use white twine to tie it together. And I, again, I don't have my reversible tweezers, so we'll just set a block on there like that to hold it. All right, bring your white twine and tie those ends together. Like that. And now our scissors, snip, snip, snip. All right, last but not least, we're gonna add a few few pearls. Boy, I have made a mess today on my desk. All right, just a few and kind of keep them out of the way of our shopping cart. I mean, I think it'll still be all right if they run into them. Let's see. There we go. How cute. Now you can create this um, inside to be a gift card holder by just putting a strip of designer series paper across the bottom. Another thing that I did on my sample is I flicked some Blackberry Bliss Stamp and Blends ink on there. If you wanna do that, you can do that too. All right, there you have it. Make sure you stop by my blog. There is a free PDF and two other attention shopper projects. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks everybody, bye-bye.